welcome back to your english class dear children may i ask you something do you have a sibling a younger brother a younger sister or an elder brother or sister dear children today we are going to watch a story about a very brave brave boy shail singh who is an elder brother of a child named kuwar once kuwar was very sick and it was like ke wo zinda nahi bach pata but shail singh wo bahut bahadur nikla unhone akele kuwar ko apne back pe carry kiya and wo unhe door town se bahar jo ek hospital tha jahan unka pahunchna zaruri tha वहां पर वो उसे लेकर गए ऑन द वे बहुत ज्यादा स्ट्रगल किया शेर सिंह ने बट हिज करेज एंड हिज लव फॉर हिज यंगर ब्रदर मेड हिम टू रीच द हॉस्पिटल वेयर कुवर वाज ट्रीटेड एंड वो जल्दी ही ठीक हो गए नाउ लेट्स वॉच द स्टोरी टू हैव अ क्लियर अंडरस्टैंडिंग माय ब्रदर माय ब्रदर Shail Singh is a brave boy who does not know fear. Read and find out how he takes his little brother to the hospital and saves his life. How proud his parents must have been. Shail Singh's little brother lay in the hut with a pain in his stomach that was getting worse. Shail Singh himself was only about 12 years old, small and cheerful. a child of the jungle his brother was several years younger i will bring out rags in boiling water and lay them on his stomach said his mother she did not weep she had lived through everything over and over again the steaming rags did not help after a while shail singh's mother said he must be carried to the hospital at kalaka Then Shail Singh thought that his brother was dying. All jungle people somehow think that the hospital is the last resort of the doomed. I will run for my father, he cried. It will be days before you find him. Shail Singh's father was away in the jungle with a photographic expedition. All the men of Lalwani village too were with the expedition as beaters. Shail Singh looked at his younger brother and saw that he was in great pain. Kalaghat was at least fifty miles away, but Shail Singh hoped that if he could get through the jungle and cross the two rivers in between, he might get a lift in a bullock cart or perhaps even a broken down truck for the last part of his journey. Dear children, Shail Singh, a twelve-year-old boy. Will he able to take his younger brother to the hospital? Let us see how the story goes. Through the jungle, night fell. The sky became purple black. It blazed with stars. Shail Singh had good eyes. He could still see. Presently, the moon rose. The sight of their tracks in the dust, the square front paw and long back one with the shaggy claws made him glance around uneasily. On a cliff above a riverbed, Shail Singh knew he could go no further without rest. Sweat was running off his shaking flesh. He set Gurmur down gently against a tree. It was then that he heard the jostle and squeal of elephants. Below him, on the riverbed, the elephants travelled. He could see the cows and the babies, and one great old tusker. He was playing his trunk to and fro to learn whatever the breeze could tell him. And suddenly, he hesitated. The trunk came round towards the boys. Shail Singh chilled with fright. With Kunwar to carry, he could neither climb nor run. Do you?
do you think that tasca will come towards the voice will she say be able to take her to the hospital will they be safe let us see what happens in the story with on angry after the death and all the herd went with him they disappeared she has breathed one more prayer of thanks this time and got ready to move with Kunwar on his back once again. He scrambled down into the riverbed. He stepped into the river. The water was cold and deep. Thank goodness there was a bridge at the second river. It was a flimsy thing made of bamboo poles, stones, thick grass and river gravel. But it was at least a bridge. He plodded steadily on. Towards midnight, he heard the second river ahead of him. He heard it from far away, a steady roar of flood. When he came out on the shore, he saw it. A big head of snow must have melted yesterday, and here it was. From bank to bank, the river foamed. He looked for the bridge. It was not there. So, now, how to cross? There was not a chance to swim. Even alone, he would be lost. Perhaps among the wreckage of the bridge, there was a way. Shirzin gathered grass and plaited it into a rope. He tied the rope round his brother and himself, so they would keep together. Then he entered the water just above the bridge. Shirzin tied the rope around his brother and himself in order to play together. Swim together or stay together. He tied the rope to stay together with his brother. Taki wo pani me bel na jaye. Let us check. Correct the action. Now let us see what happens next. It was so cold that he could hardly keep his hold. He did not know if his brother lived or died, but he kept the child's head above water and inch by inch moved along. He was deaf, blinded, frozen and tired. But he went on and on. Then the river seemed to lose power. They were through. After that, Sher Singh did not know what happened. He was walking on and on. Then there was a better road. Far away, in another world, there came sounds heralding a village. Suddenly, somehow, people. After that, the next he knew, they were in a bullock cart. Then, a truck. Where have you come from, boy? Lalwani. You carried him alone, across the river in blood. They were at the hospital. Sher Singh always felt shy of big buildings. He did not go in. Much later, the doctor came out on the veranda and said, you are the boy who brought the child in from Lalwani. Yes. Then a smile broke all over the doctor's gentle face. Sher Singh Bahadur, he said. Your brother will live. Come and see. So dear children, you saw the courage and the willpower of the child. The love for his younger brother. Dear children, even you are very courageous, right? You can do anything for your family. You are strong and full of strength like Shaysen. Dear children, I hope you love the story. Now, I have a small homework for you. You have to write five lines that how much do you love your family and what can you do like what Shaysen did. We will meet next time with the new words of my dictionary of this lesson. Till then, go through the story, read it from your textbook. Bye, dear children. God bless you.